Oh, shit, wait. So welcome back to the channel. As you can see, it's very wet. And we're on the Isle of Man as we speak. So, I've travelled over today on the lovely uh, S1000XR, the Steed. And we've got to my digs, which is this, the Sefton Express. That's my room there with the open blind. So the bike is right outside. So then we're just going to go. That's the, just going to go and head down to the track for the Southern 100, which is just down in Castletown, down there. I'm not going to film the track or anything. Just doing a quick introduction. And there'll be a little bits and bobs of what I'm up to tomorrow. Hopefully, I'm not going to do much today. It's wet, miserable, but they are going out. That's the airport over there as well. So let's go have a look around the track, see if we can find somewhere that we want to watch tonight. Remote key, not in range. It's in my pocket. Thank you. Yeah, I'm secure. Let's go and have a little moochie moochie. Yeah, come across this on... Booking.com, I think, months and months and months ago. And then I went onto their website and got it cheaper than Booking.com. It's a bit run down. It's like a... It's like a travel lodge, basically. Airport Hotel. Yeah, so it's just like a travel lodge, but... Basic nothing fancy and you've got the airport bang opposite normally stay at a little campsite in Kurt Michael and then last year I stayed at a digs in Douglas this year I thought I'd stay near the track because it's, uh, it's a bit easier but these are going to the racing aren't they it's probably only a half hour walk if I'm totally honest with you. This is Castle Town now. But um I just fancy I might as well ride, I'm not gonna have a beer or anything. So I might as well ride. What time are we on? Quarter past five. So the road's shut at six tonight. Ready for the action, and there's been a report put on Facebook already of the on the uh, S1500 R supporter page. A statement from the clerk of the course says that they are still going out because um, this is due to stop at six, and then apparently they are going out because the, the consensus is that the riders want some form of practice, whether it be wet or dry. So the, we will see some bikes, whether the, the big lads are going out or not. I don't know. Dean Harrison, Michael Dunlop, Davy Todd's here, I know of. Michael Rutter's doing a parade on the Honda RCV. RCV? 21V? Something like that. He's going to be here anyway. I don't know if he's actually racing or whether he's just doing the parade. Um, I'm not 100% on that. But um, either way, it'd be good to see that Honda going around. Oh, they're still doing the. Uh, painted wallabies. This harbour here, just missed it, the harbour there on Saturday held the World National Tin Bath Championships. Uh, one year I'm going to come early just to see that, it's going to be mega. Oh, see they've put all the cones out this year for police, they don't normally do that, you know this is full of bikes all down here, it's dangerous to be honest. Diesel's cheaper than petrol. It's totally the opposite of back home. So we're just coming on to the start straight now. We'll do, we'll do a quick lap, eh? And figure out where we want to watch, but I think I'm going to go to Iron Gate tonight. Purely because on the Monday, in the weather being pants, I'll be able to get a good spot. 
as on race night it's a nightmare to get on the good spots so you're better off going on practice nights to the good spots and then usually on race night and race day I go to Joey's Gate which is my favourite spot anyway but not many people bother with it I'll show you as we go around so we've got Castle Town Corner here Grand stands up, no bugger in it. They charge you five pound a seat for that, even on practice night. It's a bit cheeky, really. But it all goes to the club, so if you want to support it, it's the only way to support it these days. So you've got the start finish straight here. clubhouse on the corner just here where you can always get your program all these little marquees you've got programs t-shirts that kind of thing I was contemplating going there because it's got a hard standing for the bike but I thought everyone else is gonna have that idea tonight because of the rain aren't they so yeah, we'll just, I thought no we'll just crack on yeah, we're going to do a cheeky lap see how I get on with uh, producing this as a vid uh, if you watch my last video, you'll see I only did it yesterday. Bala Kagan happened. The last video I fitted the servo body to the uh, Exiles and R. <laughs> I've took it off because it's ridiculous. So you've got Ballack Hagen, then it goes down to, this is where I'm going to watch I think, from Iron Kate. Just going to judge how busy it is now when we go past, because if it's really busy then obviously I'm not going to. Go on pal. So you've got Ballack Hagen. This is probably what I'm going to watch on tonight, along this wall here, just providing there's no towels on it. No, all looks good. Get on there then. Oop, slow down your dick. Yeah, I might get on there tonight. So, just come up over the railway into Ballinois. And then this is my favourite space to watch, but over the years the car parking and all that's changed. You're not allowed to now. This is Jerry's Gate, and I like to come and walk down here, sit on this wall here. It's all around there. You can see the kink all the way down to this Battle of Beggar Airpin. But what I've learnt, various different conversations with people on Facebook, you know, boss. Um, let's just crack this because I can't breathe, man. Uh, park down here at Battle of Gagan Airpin, there's some parking just past. Promise. And then park down there, and then I'll have to walk back. It's Bala Beg, sorry, Bala Cave, and walk back. And then on race day, another favourite spot of mine is this hedgerow here. So, anywhere along here is really good. All along the back roads here. It's Bala Whetstone. I've watched here before as well. This is a good little spot next to this side. That's a good spot. It's a bit of a trek across the field, but it's a good spot. Marshall and then I've never watched down here. I'm trying to find somewhere new this year as well. Boom, 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 boom. This is the bomb hole, as they call it. Just dips down in a kink. This jag decides to in both lanes. <laughs> you don't need that servo, buddy, do you? Listen to that. It starts going over. 
five, six, five, she was once alive. They cross four ways. This is a good little bend. They come, I've watched from here before and they come tipping into it. Tipping into it. Right. Um, Jerry's gate tonight, they've already decided. So you've got cross four ways here. Always look <laughs> Hey! It's a bit gritty there. There's always lots of action here. The Church Bends, this is another good spot, really good spot. I like to get on this wall with this bottom end, it's not many people bother down here. I've sat in that entrance before as well. God, there's no one here tonight. We've got half hour yet, but. Mm. The car park's here, you go up into the field. It's a bit, a bit shit. Look the back there. Another good spot, just church bends. They've got a uh, a lady does tea and coffee and cakes at the back of the church there. Eh? Lovely. And then you've got this uh, something meadow. This is called Great Meadow, I think. Then you've got this is Stadium Bend. Stadium Corner. I've watched uh, from here before as well on these hedges. That's quite a good little spot. This gets busy here because it's a campsite as well. So people literally just walk to the wall and they park up. Yeah, that's a, a lap of the track, basically. Into Stadium Corner. There's a lot of races there. Uh, one I'm lost on this one. Another XR. Help, help. So I'll piece together that as a quick video for you. As a, uh, a lap, a wet lap. The Southern 100 Ballown course on a sports touring bike with big fat panniers and I'm going to make my way down to Iron Gate now there was nobody there so that's where I'm off right speak to you later